All right, let's do it. Exactly, Valor. Look at you. You're jamming, you, right? And these intros are jammable. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So the profit profits. Something's changed with your mic, Mike. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, something's changed. You're not as good as you were right before that intro. No. <laughs> Same mic I used for the first year of the show. And- Make sure you didn't hit the cord or something. It's definitely lower, right, my, Pat? It's been inconsistent, I'd, I'd have to say. <laughs> here, hold it like you're a superstar. Like, just hold it right here like this. Like that. See, that changes nothing. Your mic is not doing anything. That didn't change anything. Even that definitely. Not computer, not if I get closer, is that? Is that yes, what? yes. For some reason. Your mic's not working at all. The snowball has failed you as well. (laughs) So what you need to do now is just put your uh, laptop in your lap, literally. There you go. Just do it. (laughs) You need to get one of those brackets that go around your shoulders and you can lay your (laughs) laptop right here. (laughs) Let me go ahead and just redo my whole little studio here. That already sounds better, doesn't it, Pat? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, now I'm using my computer instead of all these. Yeah, you, you sound good. Yep. Fancy, high dollar, <laughs> over place microphones. Okay, on with it. All right. <laughs> so the Profit Profit segment is done. And now we move on to pick three. All right. This week we have 427 by Nick Klein, DC Horror Sergeant Rock. This is uh, Army of the Dead number one by Gary Frank. Batman Audio Adventure number one by Dave Johnson. Human Target number seven by Greg Smallwood. Now there is an art film cover variant for Human Target. But we've seen so much art germ and all of this stuff kind of looks the same. So that's why I selected the old cover. And uh, Greg Smallwood is the actual series artist as well. So we need to get him in the chat. Uh, next is AXE Avengers number one, another Nick Klein cover. Amazing Spider Man number 10, the uh, Beyond Amazing variant by Marcos Martin. DC Mech 3 d the Wonder Woman cover. By Dan Mora, Fortnite, Fortnite X Marvel Zero War number five, by Ron Lane variants, Deathstroke Inc. thirteen, Dexter Story, and then Batman Fortress five, uh, Kamal, Kamami, Shirahama. Nice. Okay. So, uh, I picked all three of these myself. I think I'll try to get Matt back into it next week to win the fun time. In number okay. the third spot, I really well, hope he would do better. What's that? I was just going to say, well, he didn't have time because he was doing his video game stuff to, to do the pick three with yeah. you this week anyway. Yeah. All right. I was really hoping this one would uh, do better than it did. I'm looking forward to this book myself. Uh, DC Horror Sergeant Rock by Gary Frank. Awesome. Yes, and uh, pretty this cool is five votes. It is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I didn't vote for it though. It just uh, goes to show that Gary Frank can do any genre of comic. You know, yeah. I don't know if you have you seen that new Tarzan cover from IDW or Dynamite. I think just he can do anything. He's so good. Does, I don't, does he do the interiors? I can't remember. 
Uh, I'm not sure either. But this book is written by Bruce Campbell. So we'll see how good a writer he is. Is this going to be like a new sub-brand, this DC Horror? Is that new? Uh, this is the third or fourth um, DC Horror line. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's They're usually cool. series. I think this is going to be five or six issues. That's pretty cool. Yep. And next up in the... I won't be buying them, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the variants and everything. <laughs> it's right up my alley. Bruce Campbell, Zombies, Sergeant Lock. Yep. Yep, that's definitely all you. Absolutely. Yep. And in the second position with seven votes, and luckily I added them this week. Oh. Human Target, number seven, by Greg Smaller. Wow. It's that yellow. It's <laughs> yeah, I think that yellow is what I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Just too much of one color. <laughs> yep. And finally at number one, this one uh, it's in there. No, eight votes. Ooh, yes! Four. 27. Nice. Eight. Nice. Yeah. Hey, five votes. Wow. Who who'd you, who'd you say the artist on this was, Mike? I'm sorry. Nick Klein. Yeah, he's good. he's been doing the Thor stuff for a while. Yeah. Thor's thick. I guess they're both thick in this. That was the one nitpick I had about this cover, even though I voted for it. it was uh, Thor's a little squatty there. I think you yeah. know, he, he maybe uh, didn't lay out his page as well as he could yeah. have. Yeah, I remember those days where you run out of paper, so the legs get pulled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd just been better if his feet weren't on the cover, just, you know, and just do it that way. <laughs> yeah, just put some smoke or the like, water's a little bit deeper. Something yeah. Like Deep water. But yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I think Tyler's excited for this one. I, I saw that cover a few, probably a month ago, so I sent it to him, put it on his radar, but... He'd already subscribed to everything Donnie Cates. So. Here's here's the hundred thousand dollar question: Is Venom in this book? <laughs> well, it's the A cover, so I'm gonna guess that he is. Yeah, but that would be logical. Yeah, he might be on the very last page. Yeah. <laughs> so there you All have right. it. All right, cool. One, two, and three. Very nice. Everybody can grab those this Wednesday. 